What's up everyone? I hope everyone is having a great day, a very rewarding day. Believe it or not, I have. Uh, it's been a great day for me actually. Um, I got something in that I should have gotten months ago and I'm very glad that it came. And also, I about almost 30 minutes ago or so, I just got through doing my interview with UPS. They originally should have called me last week on Friday, but they never did, but thankfully they did today. And the interview went well, and plus they want to call me back for a second interview with their manager, which I won't reveal his name, but I guess that's a good sign of things to come. You know, things are definitely looking up, and I, it's a very rewarding and um, humbling experience for me. It's very great to, you know, start off that way. And hopefully everything, you know, you know, goes well for me after that. That's what I'm hoping for. That's i got to have that great sense of optimism. It's always a great feeling to have, especially during these uh, trying and challenging times that you have to deal with. So, But anyways, uh, what, came, what, um, what came was actually a soundtrack that I should have gotten months ago, but I'll reveal that later. And speaking of soundtracks, this is what this video is going to be. It's going to be a different video. It's going to be more soundtrack related. And I have actually shown these before, but I don't know if I took took any time to talk about any great length of detail on them. I don't think any, I don't think all my subs saw it, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it while I'm, while I'm at it. And plus, I'm going to be getting two more soundtracks. I'm actually going to be getting several more things in the coming week. So be on the lookout for that. But anywho, let's get on with it. Um, first off, I'm going to be showing this soundtrack, and it's the, it's a really great soundtrack for, you know, a franchise that has the, you know, it's a well-known franchise, and it's uh, the Alien soundtrack done by Jerry Goldsmith. It's the complete Entrada version of it. Has all the tr it has the complete original score. I don't know if you can tell. And I'm sorry about the reflection, folks. It has all the tr tracks. It has the, like I said before, it has the complete original score, which is about 23 tracks. You have the rescored alternate cues, on the and that's all on the first disc. On disc two, you have the original 1979 album, which was only had 10 tracks and then you have bonus tracks on there on the second one as well and actually I don't have the disc inside because this disc here um, it's, it's actually it was kind of cracked around it's you don't see it it's, you can't see it. it's underneath here it's kind of cracked but thankfully the disc did play so that's the good news I don't know that's something to do with the way this the way the jewel case is designed so I don't know but anyway you slice it they both play I'm very glad to have them it's a very really very good score you know, there is a bit of history about behind it. You know, there, it went some editing. Like, there was a few tracks that weren't really used. Like, especially his end, his end title was definitely not used. It was done by Howard Hansen. <clears throat> so, yeah. But, it was. I mean, that track is really good, but it's also great to hear that. I can, and believe it or not, the same thing happened with Aliens, but I don't want to get too much into it, you know, if, if I do a review for it. But anyways... Next soundtrack I also bought was, um, and by the way, the price I paid for the Alien soundtrack, um, I think it was around 30, is around 36 or so, 35, 36 dollars or something. It was definitely in the 30s, but anyway, you slice it, it's good to get it for that price because I would have had to pay a lot more for it. And technically you could get like, a, it's like a bootleg version, but I've heard the sound quality is not very good, especially on the second one, so. I can see why the bootleg version was much cheaper because it had has all four of the the films musical cues and, and for some reason they must have not used a very good you know pro, uh, machine to you know do the remastering so especially on the second one. But anyway, you slice it. Um, glad to have the official release because they're better you know mastered and better labeled, which is what this one is. It's the twentieth anniversary. Complete score of Predator. And this is, I think, this is apparently the, I guess, I don't know if it's the international version because I bought this one overseas because it was much cheaper. I mean, I could I could have bought, I, I could have bought the Entrada version. I think it came out in 2003 or four, but that one was really expensive for a brand new one. At the time, it was $75 and with tax, I would have paid like 80 bucks for it. And they did reduce the price, you know, a few weeks later to like 67, but that's still too much. I bought this one for around 32 and change, brand new. Took a little bit of time to ship, but I'll gladly take that than paying almost $35 and $40 more for a soundtrack. So, plus this was better labeled than the Entrada one. It seems like they kind of clumped some of the cues together. I can't remember how many tracks were on the Entrada one, but 
This one, it's, it's spaced out differently. Plus, this one uses the right logo music for this one. For some reason, the Entrada version had the Alien 3 suite on it for some, for some reason. And I don't know why they put it on the, on the Predator soundtrack, which is very odd. But thankfully, this one got it right. Plus, you have a couple of, of other, you know, cues on here. One's like, I, I think, like a slower version of the Predator theme. And then you have the Lontau Sally song on here. That's something that was not on the Entrada release. Then you have, like, the Silver Pictures logo because the film was produced by Joel Silver. So it's about, s like, seven minutes longer than the, um, the Entrada version. So glad to have it. And, um, you know, Alan Silvestri really did a great job in the score. He even did a really good job in the sequel. And that's one of the other soundtracks that I got coming up as well. As well as another one, which I won't reveal. But anyway, so I'm glad to have it. And speaking of Alien 3, I got that soundtrack as well. I believe I only paid around another 30 and change, 30 and change for it. So I think it was like 33 34 But anyway, it's better than paying a lot more because that was the cheapest price I can do. So, or the cheapest price I was willing to pay for. It's the, probably the almost complete, but there's still an end credits, the end credits suite that was... The, or technically end credits music that's not on here, unfortunately. But you can find it on YouTube. Someone managed to upload it. I, I think there might be another version, which is, which is like a two-disc one as well. But I think it might have that one. I think that, but I think that that one has to be overseas or something like that. But you know, Alien Three, for all the shit that he gets, um, I don't mind the film. But the most best aspect of that film was Elliot Goldenthal's score. He really outdid himself in this one. It's definitely the highlight of the film. You know, for the drama, the tragedy, and the tension, uh, Goldenthal really, you know, excels in that department for this for this for this film. Whether you love or hate the film, you gotta admit that Elliot, Elliot Goldenthal's score was really the highlight of the film. So, but in the end, very glad to have it. I might, for who, for, for all I know, I might buy the special edition just to get that end credits uh, theme on there. So, but yeah. Anyway, glad to have it. Then the most surprising aspect, I did not see this coming, but I'm glad it did, and that's, believe it or not, the com probably the most complete score of Aliens, and it finally arrived, and here you have the final, the you have the final theatrical score, as well as the, uh, the composer version, which is technically the deluxe edition, and you got, I think, pretty much like over two hours worth of music on here, I think the same was for... Alien 3, well, no, not quite. You got basically an hour and 50 minutes of music, but it's pretty good. But here you got over two hours of music. And I'm just very glad to have the theatrical version, because that's definitely the music I prefer. And I've heard, I've heard a little bit of the cues of the composer version. I can understand why James Horner was unhappy with how his music was being, you know, filtered around, edited, and stuff like that. But in the end, I can understand why James Cameron did what he did, because he had a, probably a certain way how the music should be presented. Like the, the combat drop uh, music that you hear in the theatrical cut is, was not done by Horner. It was done by a guy named Harry Rabinowitz or something like that. I can understand why, because that's definitely felt a little, a little more militaristic than the, the composer version. But it was still good. It's still a good cue by Horner. But anyway... I always like, I think Horner really outdid himself as well, considering that he had very limited time. It definitely remains one of the best scores out of the entire film. Maybe maybe almost a tie to the Alien 3, because it's you know, probably one of the, the best things about that one. But yeah, I'm very glad to have the complete score, and I'm probably going to listen to this, you know. It, you know it's a very pulse-pounding and highly adrenaline, you know, highly adventurous type of score, you know. Very tense, but, you know, also has that epic feeling. So, yeah, I'm, but in the end, I'm very glad to have this. Especially since I had to get a refund, I, since I technically refunded it. But, um, but in a way, I got it for free, so that feels great. Because it should have been here a lot sooner. But something happened, I guess, with their, uh, with their carrier or something like that. But in the end, I'm very glad to have all these soundtracks here. I'm just grabbing a head full, head full of them. But, yeah. Hmm, it's been a very good Thursday for me, so hopefully there'll be a good Friday tomorrow, so yeah. But anywho, that's going to do it for me. Hopefully you like this video. Feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, I'll keep grinding out more videos whenever I can. So, um, anywho, that's going to do it for me. I will see you later, folks.
See ya.